he even pointed that the middle class have liabilities which they think they're assets. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back again to my channel. And if you're new here, then let me introduce myself first. I'm Gabriel Manuel and I make videos about personal growth, finance, and aesthetics. I also upload university vlogs and interviews with people from all walks of life. Interesting? Then click the subscribe button and click the notification bell for you to stay updated. All right, let's begin. So in today's video, we'll be talking about Robert Kiyosaki's one of best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. If you don't know Robert Kiyosaki, well, according to Google, He's an American businessman and author. He is the founder of Rich Global LCC, which is a private financial education company that provides personal finance and business education to people through books and videos. Okay guys, share ko lang na his book, Rich Dad Poor Dad is my financial awakening book. So if you've been googling and searching YouTube videos about financial independence, then please stay in this video because I know this one's right for you. And by the way, I hope you all guys will stay tuned up until the very end of this video since like meron akong konting surpresa para sa inyo. And guys, for you all to know, this one is free. Yes, free. There's nothing better than free stuff, eh? <laughs> well, this video is basically the summary of Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I wrote 10 things that I learned after reading Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And I gladly want to share to you all it, guys. So, yeah, ano pang hinihintay natin? Let's begin. Wait, sinabi ko na yun kanina, di ba? Anyway, anyway, let's start. <laughs> well, wait guys, kunin ko muna yung journal ko ah. Alright. So, sinulat ko talaga dito, no? <laughs> Number one, don't work for money. Let your money work for you. So, this sounds out of this world when taken literally, right? I mean, paano yung mga Aquino sa 500 peso bill ay magtratrabaho for you? But hey, what it means is that you need to work and save and invest and work and save and invest and work and save and invest. You know, para ma-accumulate yun, para lalaki at lalaki, rarami at rarami yung fund na in-invest mo. With that being said, then you can harvest your investment earlier than those na konti lang yung nilagay and hindi masyadong naglalagay. Well, I'm not saying na dapat merong competition between you and the people that surrounds you, but rather telling you to be financially independent ASAP, you know, as soon as possible. Which leads to number two, get out from the rat race as soon as possible. So what is rat race nga ba? Well, sabi dito, a rat race is an endless, self-defeating, or pointless pursuit. The phrase equates to humans, to rats, attempting to earn a reward such as cheese in vain. It may also refer to a competitive struggle to get ahead financially or routinely. So halimbawa nito ay ang 9 to 5 jobs. Na alam naman nating marami sa atin ang hindi ito nagugustuhan at nasisiyahan habang ginagawa ito. It's a routine that we hate doing but we do it anyway because we bear no choice kasi nga ito lang yung bumubuhay sa atin. You know, imagine waking up early in the morning tapos binibilisan mong magkape para lang makapunta ka sa office on time kasi natatakot ka na i-fire ka ng amo mo then working from 9am to 5pm tapos uuwi ka makakasalubo mo yung heavy traffic tapos pagdating mo sa bahay stress na stress ka tapos ang tagal mo pang matulog kasi Facebook ka ng Facebook naiingit ka sa mga tropa mo sa mga kaibigan mo sa mga relatives mong nasa abroad kasi nga hashtag OOTD hashtag selfie lang ganito lang walang problema and eto ka na mga problema ka, tapos matulog ka na naman, tapos gigising ka ulit ng maaga, and the routine continues. Kukuha ka ng sahod, iwawaldas mo yan. For one night, kakapagod isipin, right? Ngayon isipin mo yan, nagagawin mo yan for 20 to 40 years ng buhay mo. Or, let's say, until you retire. 60, 65? Clarification lang. I'm not against a 9 to 5 jobs, huh? Well, this makes our economy to move, you know? It helps people to put food on their table and so on. Ang point lamang dito is that you need to get out from that rat race as soon as possible so that you have enough time for you to enjoy life more. Third, know the difference between an asset and a liability. Inuulit-ulit talaga ito ni Kiyosaki sa book niya. He always say na the main reason why the rich gets richer is because they know the difference between an asset from a liability. While the poor and the middle class always have a hard time determining an asset and a liability. He even pointed that the middle class have liabilities which they think there are assets. A great example is a loaned car or a loaned house. Well, yes, a matte black fortuner or a Montero will 
gives you that rich, classy man vibe. But you need to pay for it monthly. A very simple thing to remember lang between an asset and a liability is that an asset is something that puts money into your wallet while a liability is something that gets money out from your wallet. Having a high maintenance house gets money out from your wallet but having a boarding house will help you put money into your wallet gets Okay, let's go. Let's proceed to number four. Don't be afraid of failure. It's part of the success. So why we should not be afraid to fail? See it this way. Kung hindi mo yan susubukan, then you wouldn't even know na kaya mo pala yan in the first place. Well, if you try and it turns out na hindi yan nag-work, hindi gumana or nag-fail ka, then at least you try. Nalaman mo na hindi yan mag-work for you. Then you have that time pa na gagawin yung ibang bagay which might work for you. I guess yan naman talaga yung life, di ba? It's like bumping to something that doesn't work until finally bumping to something that works for you and you get comfortable with it. Then after years, you're successful. Number five, be a jack of all trades by knowing little of everything. The poor dad in the story is a very educated man. He even have master's degree. He always say to his son, education is the only way to success. Na dapat makakuha ka ng good grades para makapasok ka sa magandang school at makakuha ka ng scholarship so that you can graduate with Latin awards and honors so that pagkakaguluhan ka ng mga kumpanya and it will land you to high paying job then your life is secure well this is the exact opposite sa sinasabi at pinupush ng rich dad the rich dad suggests that it is better to know a little about everything than knowing all that certain thing lang so that kung merong mangyayari na wala sa plano mo then you still have safety nets Number six, don't let your genius be suppressed by your fear. Robert said na always magkakasabay yung fear mo at yung genius within you. What matters is that dapat mas malakas pa din yung utak kaysa sa takot. He said na in order for us to succeed, dapat gamitin natin yung utak kaysa sa emosyon natin. Well, not totally na utak na lang talaga. It's like, use your heart but always make bit-bit your brain. <laughs> Parang ganun ba? Number seven, never listen to Chicken Lil's. So I don't know if you guys already watched the movie Chicken Lil. It's a movie about a little chicken. <laughs> so ano nga ba talaga ang Chicken Little? So ito yung mga tao na always iniisip na the sky is falling. Sila yung kumbaga always nega sa life. Sila yung tipong hindi ka pa nakakapag-start or may say na sila. But they are also the ones na hindi naman talaga nagre-research sa bagay na yun. Or sila din naman talaga yung mga taong wala naman talagang alam sa bagay na yun. Hmm, familiar na. No? <laughs> yung mga kakilalang sinasabihan kang hindi ka dapat manood ng anime kasi naman talaga, pangit daw yung anime. So syempre, ikaw na nakawatch na ng One Piece, ng Naruto, ng Dragon Ball, ng Pokemon, ng Attack on Titan, ng No Game No Life, ng Your Name, ng Withering With You, and the list goes on. Asan utaku? So ikaw yung nanalo between you both kasi like, hindi ka nakinig sa kanya and you explore it by yourself. Tapos nalaman mong, hindi naman talaga pangit yung anime. Parang ganun. Don't listen to Chicken Lils. Number 7. Oh wait. Number 8 na pala. Number 8. Mine is an asset. Invest in it. Well, I guess this was very self-explanatory din naman, di ba? Invest ka sa sarili mo. You go read books, attend Zoom seminars, watch ka ng YouTube videos like this one, subscribe ka sa channel ko. I mean, educate yourself. It's the best investment. Number nine, being smart is not enough. Be bold. This means application. Nope, not application sa phone. Application na dapat mong i-apply kung ano yung mga natutunan mo. You get the point naman, di ba? Hindi naman lalago yung pera mo. Kahit ilang libro na yung nabasa mo, kahit ilang videos na yung panood mo, kahit ilang dosen ng Zoom meetings and seminars pa yung sinalihan mo, kung yung savings mo, ay nasa wallet mo lang at hindi mo yan ini-invest. Gets? And number 10, be your own boss by minding your own business. Know that you are the boss and this is your business. Yes, you might get a lot of criticisms, lalong-lalo na if you're starting pa lang. But you know what? Why would you even entertain those criticisms? Well, there are healthy criticisms din naman and that you should be careful na dapat mo yung i-intake so that for you to grow, so that for you to succeed. So yeah, that's the 10 things I've learned after reading Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Sana may napulot kayong aral in this video. And guys, as promised earlier, na meron akong konting surpresa para sa inyo. Well, you can check the link in the description down below since meron dyang 
PDF ng Rich Dad Poor Dad for free. I also even attach a link for an audiobook since like alam naman natin na hindi tayong lahat ay comfortable in reading. Kasi ako mismo yung auditory type of person. And also meron na referral codes sa description down below. Especially for PDAX, Shopbox, Paymaya, Union Bank, and GCash. Sana gamitin nyo yun kasi like it's a win-win thing din naman. Meron kayong free and meron din ako free. Thank you so much guys for watching and if you guys want to know more about me then feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I make updates there almost every day. So yeah, I guess that will be it for now. Maraming salamat guys and sana sabay-bay nyo pa ako sa journey ng buhay ko. Bye! God bless everyone! Hey guys, what is up? Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back into my chat. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back again to my channel. If you're new here, then let me introduce myself first. Hey guys, motor. <laughs> so in today's video, we'll be talking about Robert Kiyosaki's one of his best-selling books, Rich Rich. Well, according to, well, according to Google, he's a he's a founder of Rich Dad LCC. He is the founder of Rich Global LCC and Rich Dad Company, which is a private. He is the founder of Rich Lo. He is the founder of Rich. He is the. Okay, I share ko lang. Okay, guys, I. Okay, guys, share ko lang. He's.